Hi everyone, welcome to Polo and Lifestyle Talks. Today's guests are the W Maldives and we are speaking with the general manager Ido and also will be joined by celebrity chef Priyanka Naik and we will talk about a fantastic, unique collaboration and I'm so excited about that. Hi! Hello, how are you Charlotte? Hi Priyanka and hi Ido, how are you both? Good, it's really nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. And I already saw that you have a fantastic collaboration together. And I'm so excited to speak about that today. We are also very excited to share that with you, Charlotte. Yes, with the readers, they are so excited about today. <laughs> and you have a stunning location, really. <laughs> yeah, we promise this is real. This is not a green screen. Exactly. <laughs> you know, not a backdrop, right? <laughs> so, Priyanka, let's start with you. Tell us um, how you started your career and how was your beginning? Yeah, so I, I think my career is very atypical from most chefs. I'm self-taught. I made a very conscious decision not to go to culinary school um, for a few reasons, which I'm not going to get into now because that will probably take up like the full 30 minutes. So we'll just... <laughs> bypass that but I made a decision not to go to culinary school um, and I taught myself and I learned via my parents and uh, I went on a few TV shows uh, mainly a Food Network show in 2017 I won that show I became a Food Network champion at the time wow. I was cooking vegetarian um, and my career really took off from there and so since then, uh, I now have a cookbook, which has been so discreetly placed here. <laughs> and I have a few TV shows. I won a couple of other cooking competition shows. I do a lot of pop-ups, um, cool activations like this with the W. Um, and my cooking focus is vegan and sustainable cooking. So, yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of been a very, a very high-level overview of my chef career. And is this your first book? This is my first book. Yep, The Modern Tiffin. Ah, maybe you can show us a little bit uh, closer how the cover looks. Sure. <laughs> and where can we get it? Is it available through Amazon, for example? Yeah, so it's available worldwide. Uh, the best resource for it is Amazon. Um, but throughout the States, it's available in all bookstores and independent bookstores too, which I always encourage people, if you can get it at an independent bookstore, please do, because then you're supporting a small business. But yeah, it's available everywhere. Amazing. So tell us a little bit about this unique collaboration and what can guests experience? So uh, we are very happy uh, to collaborate with Chef Priyanka you know, in this sustainable uh, local source uh, opportunity. Uh, you know, W as a, as a brand and we as part of, uh, you know, Merit International Sustainability is really important for us. And to have this opportunity to, you know, uh, direct on the food side, uh, collaborate with Chef Priyanka and create this vegan menu for our guests is going to bring additional, additional options on the vegetarian options that we have. Uh, where we can showcase not only the vegan part of the story, but also the local source. Because believe it or not, Maldives is not only about the seafood. Uh, we, we do have uh, like a farm island where, you know, you can find vegetables, you can find fruits, uh, some of them very uh, particular to the Maldives. And then that's what we are trying to do here, you know, taking Jeff Bianca uh, experience and, and focus on the sustainability, on the source, uh, local source product and create this uh, beautiful and very tasteful colorful dish for us so uh, this is uh, the reason why we, we we want to collaborate because we know that Maldives has much more to offer uh, besides the seafood part right yeah yeah exactly yeah um, tell us about the inspiration behind the vegan menu you created for the Maldives Priyanka yeah, so as you were saying, there was, through this whole process and working with um, the W, first of all, this is my first time in the Maldives, so it's not like I've had, like, secret access to anything beforehand. 
we had a lot of discussions on understanding what's actually indigenous to the islands versus what's imported and also how they are adapting to their changing landscapes and islands with like everything related to global warming and how they're dealing with sustainability issues so um i discovered there's a lot of cool fruits and vegetables that are actually locally grown like the various types of watermelon pumpkin kale was it lunia is that how you say it? Yes. yeah lunia which is like the leafy green um so all of those locally produced and grown produce are incorporated into my menu and i have a, a strong focus on low waste and zero waste cooking so for instance uh one of the appetizers is a watermelon based dish made with local yellow and red watermelon and the yeah and it's so juicy it's really <laughs> delicious and the rind of that watermelon we are turning into an indian pickle which is like a condiment so no part of that fruit will go to waste Oh that would be amazing. And that was my second question if you um use also local products and I think it is so amazing. Yeah, it's a it, that, that's one of the things that we uh, like most about you know Chef Priyanka's technical you say or direction because the the full you know the full use of what you have on your hands. This is amazing. Yeah. Yeah, it it is really. I'm getting now hungry so <laughs> <laughs> Good, that's the point. <laughs> so, what would you say? What's your favorite dish on the menu? Um, Ido and then Priyanka. Okay, I'm glad you said you, you said me first because so she doesn't pick mine. Yeah. <laughs> so, my favorite one is the watermelon salad. Uh, you know what I like, what I like about that dish because you know we we know the red watermelon that's common for us, but in Maldives we have the yellow watermelon. And that's mm -hmm. what makes it very interesting because you have the mixed color of watermelons plus you know the green part and all yes. this colorful tasteful mix with the spicy the tahini and also the watermelon sweetness makes a great dish. I do like that dish. Um so he did steal one of mine <laughs> which is okay. I will let him have it. Um but mine is actually the stuffed blistered eggplant. So I like this dish because the eggplants are locally sourced um but I like it because it takes it's a rendition of a very classic Indian dish that we make at home that I sort of adapted to like new age taste and way of life so we we hollow out the eggplants then we cook the eggplant meat with um ginger garlic onions a whole different bunch of indian spices green chilies um then we stuff it up stuff it back into the eggplant we blister the eggplant and it's nestled in a spicy curry leaf peanut gravy and then it's served with poppered which is like an indian crispy wafer so it's a little bit of like a new age take on a very classic dish we make at home this sounds all delicious it's amazing so i'm really hoping that i can come during this one year to try your menu You should. You definitely should. Um Priyanka, how would you describe your cooking style? I think we talked about it a lot, but my so obviously I cook vegan with a sustainable focus, but I think people assume that I just cook Indian because I am Indian, but that is actually not the the case. I I kind of describe my style um as an Indian flair on global cuisine and classics. So While I am Indian in terms of background, I've traveled fairly extensively to almost almost 40 countries. I'm like two wow. countries away now from reaching 40, but not 40 years old, 40 countries. <laughs> What's happened with 40 years old? <laughs> I have nothing. There's nothing wrong with 40 years old. But so I the reason why that's a huge part of my cooking style is because I love to travel and I think when you travel, the way I learn about different cultures is through food. So I really like to learn about their cuisines, what they cook with, what their agriculture agricultural system looks like. Um and I think I've acquired a lot of those different learnings from all the countries that I've been to and I incorporate that into my cooking style. Mhm. Mm yeah. Um tell me the uh, three ingredients you can't live without. Three ingredients I can't live without? Oh god. Uh It's <laughs> Yeah, this is hard. Uh some chilies, like chilies. some sort of chilies, like 
Thai red chilies, Indian green. Like I need some spice. Um, but also, even though this is not on my menu, actually it was one of the options, but chocolate, dark chocolate. I'm a chocoholic, but it has to be dark. I don't like yeah. milk chocolate. Um, and the last thing isn't really an, an ingredient. It's more of like a thing is bread. I am a breaditarian, so I'm like pro carbs all the way. So I can't really live without bread. Um, so I would say those are the three, which kind of sound boring, but like they're not. They're, they're not boring. If you, you have to like, you know, spice them up and make them into something fun. But those are my three. Um, Ido, what makes the W Maldives stand out from other hotels in the Maldives? Well, um, I, you know, every time someone asks this question, you know, I always start with the same thing. Because there are many things that makes us different, right? But the people of, you know, the people of this island, you know, the, our team makes really special because we are able to deliver our whatever, whenever promise very well in a paradise place, in a very smart, fun, uh, with a lot of energy. Uh, and that makes really special. But of course, when you think in terms of the Maldives, you know, our house reef, uh, it's considered one of the best house reef island resort in the whole Maldives. Uh, actually, you can just like go out from your villa or from the water, a bungalow and just You know, jump into the water. Yeah, we've been doing that. Yeah, I just like, this is, this you know, is true. Swim 50, 50 meters swimming, and then you are there in the house reef. You know, you don't need to take a boat. You don't need to go far away. You don't need to be a professional swimmer. It's very easy access. And the marine life, you know, it's abundant. You know, last night we were having dinner here, and we had like six, seven sharks doing, oh. doing show, like reef sharks doing show around the dinner table. And, you know, this is just like the normal the normal living and you can find sea turtles you can find uh, different types of you know very coloring fish you have a nemo you have dories all kinds of uh, you know this cartoon uh, cartoon, uh, cartoon uh, fish are real yeah, here, yeah. They, are real, they are real here so that makes amazing uh, also uh, one thing i can mention because it's very easy to access double maldives it's just like 20 minutes uh, 25 minutes seaplane from uh, male which is the capital Uh, which also is, is uh, a differentiator, right? Because every island is in a different position in, or different place in the Maldives. And our island is very close to Mali, the capital in this sense, but it's completely isolated. So you truly, I think I showed you around before, you know, it's just like the blue immense ocean uh, and you are in this remote locations in this island without like other neighbors or other islands, other resorts. And then you feel that, is you know sensation of exclusivity luxury uh very very nice sentiment to be in a remote island in the middle of the ocean so i think those you know three four points would be there what makes w different yeah i see also so many comments um who is watching they always say it's so beautiful day i want to visit your resort at the standing thank you for showing it <laughs> they really enjoy it I was gonna say the best part, one of the best parts is literally your staff. Like the entire staff here is so wonderful. It really makes such a difference. Yeah, it's so important to the staff also, how you experience um, a vacation. Yeah. yeah. So uh, the thing is, uh, you know, we, we all live and work in the same island, right? So you have like 250 staff living and working here the whole day. So it becomes a big family, you know. Everyone supports each other because at the end everyone is far away from some family member, right? So it becomes this big family. And, and, and this is like contagious, you know, because we have to, to live this as a big family. And when guests come, you know, they just become part of that family. And we, we just incorporate in our daily connection with the guests, this family, you know, very simple that makes a big difference in, in the relationship of people, right? I think all this being genuine, you know, being genuine to, to, to have our guests here and, and be able to share this time with them, it's what makes the team so committed to that, you know, to that cause, to be everybody all in, mind in the, in the job and, you know, having fun at the same time, you know, we are, we have a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have many uh, repeatly uh, guests who come? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 
you know, sometimes people think that Maldives is that bucket list is one time, like one shot in life. <laughs> but actually it's not, you know, there is a big percentage of uh, guests yeah. in the Maldives that they are many time repeaters. We have guests that being, you know, 10 times, 12 times. Wow. We have one guest, uh, one couple that been here 18 times. They got married. They came for their honeymoon here and they've been here 18 times already. So Damn. this is very, uh, you know, Maldives is very attractive and really you disconnected from the world. And to be able to be a week, you know, 10 days in the Maldives, completely disconnected to the world and living life very uh, amazing because you are in the luxury resort, okay? But also in the simple things, because you breathe freely, you don't have traffic. You, you, you connect with the ocean every single day. Every snorkeling is different. Every activity you do every day is different, you know. So this makes, you know, uh, guests want to come back and have that feeling again, you know. And this is, works very well. Um, there are many guests that not only come from one, one resort, but they travel different islands, different resorts in the Maldives. I met a guest this summer, this, um, this um, January. I met a guest that he been uh, in 30 resorts in the Maldives. Oh, my God. You know, oh, wow. yeah, 30 <laughs> times in the Maldives, in 30 different resorts in the Maldives. And oh. when they come here, I said, I have to have dinner with you, you know, because I want to learn everything you learn <laughs> in the Maldives. You're going to save me time. So I invite them for dinner. It was amazing because, you know, they share with me. They are, you know, 30 travelers in different travel to Maldives, where they been, what special they found in each place. And then finally, you know, they end up why they were here you know because they in 30 times they never come to double mountains but they have that 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 in their bucket list and they said wow. when they come here what i mentioned you before was what they brought up your team is amazing you know your house reef is unbelievable it's it's better you know that because i've been in 30 different places wow. and you guys really impacted me so this is something that i'm very proud of the team and you know our resort uh, marine life and the house reef and all that because guests share with us a lot about this as well yeah it means really a lot especially from these kind of people who visited so many thoughts and then come to you and say that that's amazing thank you and also like the real life what you have is really the nature yes i mean uh, yesterday you know you were like when you guys arrived you were like uh Oh, it's dark. We couldn't see yet, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So everyone was excited to see the morning, right? Yeah. And I think the answer is there, right? Yeah, we arrived. Nature it is... was like sunset. <laughs> it was really beautiful, but it, I rarely arrive to new places like in the dark, right? Because it's you want to arrive in the morning. So all of us were like, "Oh my god, we can't wait to see like what the water looks like in the morning." So today we woke up and we were just like, "Oh my god, like, <laughs> this is real!" <laughs> yeah. Like it literally looks fake, but it's yeah. not fake. It's yeah, yeah. yeah. How long you will stay now at the W Maldives? Um, Until next year. <laughs> I'll be here until 2023. No. Um, I'm just staying here for, until the end of the week. Ah, oh, fantastic. And the whole menu experience is now one year available at your resort, right? Yes, exactly. We have a menu set. You know, we have starter, we have main dish, we have dessert. And then that's going to be available for uh, for our guests during one year uh, mm -hmm. as part of you know, the vegetarian options that we, we have. But if people love it, he said he's going to extend it. No problem. I'll live forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going but... to be eating every week at least <laughs> that watermelon spice salad. Right? That's going to be part of my diet from now on. <laughs> It's amazing. It was such a fun conversation with you both and to know about the collaboration, to know you, Priyanka, your background, Edu, you explained very well the W Maldives and I can't wait to personally visit one day. And um, thank you so much for you, both of you for your time and to join our talk. Thank you so much. Thank you. This was an awesome conversation. And I, I learned something new that someone traveled to 30 resorts. <laughs> <laughs> That's awful, <laughs> right? I need to figure out what that guy's doing for it, life. It's like, 1,200 <laughs> Island, you know. Yeah, you oh come God. many times. <laughs> yeah, right. thank you. It was such a lovely conversation. Yeah. It, it's thank, really, you so thank you so much. Have a wonderful afternoon. You too. It's been amazing to talk to you.
Thanks. Bye. I'll see you in Dublin Maldives. Yes. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao. Bye.